All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. And as long as you got the Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash, like a double honor to my apostles and others, a great most of them who will tell me the truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to all the brothers out there throughout the full concert earth, pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Brother Kazapa from GMS Raleigh, North Carolina. Come back to another quick lesson through the Spirit of Prayer, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And I just want to give you a quick lesson, just showing you that, you know, at the end of the day, our people don't realize that salvation is not for the masses, okay? Because if it was, the Lord would have said this for our people, okay? And I want to get this main one specifically, okay? Because <clears throat> this applies to two-thirds of the nation of Israel, okay? The ones that are not going to be saved from the death and destruction that the Lord is going to bring. And there's a reason why. So um, I'm going to start at, this is Jeremiah 11, and I'm going to start at verse 4. It says, um... Let's start, let's start verse three. It says, and say unto the and say unto them that them is talking about the house of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. <clears throat> it says, Thus saith Yahweh, power of Israel, cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant. All right. That covenant means what? An agreement. Okay. And our people agreed with Yahweh by Shemia Oshai that they'll keep the law, statutes, commandments, and, you know, and serve him only. Okay. Be, okay. That have him be their God. Yahweh by Shemia Oshai, who the world calls God, Jesus Christ. Okay. But our people have not. So they're cursed. The Lord cursed them. All right. Because they didn't obey this word. Okay, and now we're coming to it. Now what? The elected nation Israel are coming back to Yahweh by Shemia Oshai. So that curse. It's being lifted off of them of that death that to come towards them. Okay. But what? Two thirds of our people still have that curse of death to be upon them. Okay. <clears throat> it says on Slakia, it says verse four, which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them, brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. So what? Our forefathers, which we are our forefathers coming back. Okay. And the reincarnation. Okay. So the Lord actually what made, commanded us. Okay. You know, it says from the iron iron furnace saying, obey my voice and do all according to to, to all which I command you. See, so how about Shemuel Shai told us to what? Basically, listen to every single thing that he and do everything that he said. OK, but our people didn't want to. It says, so shall you be my people and I will be your power. So that was the covenant right there. OK. You know, that we will be his people. He'll be our God. OK, it says that I may perform the oath which I sworn by your fathers to give them a land flowing with milk and honey. And it and <clears throat> it is this day as it is this day. Then answered I and said, so be it. Oh, yeah. OK, so what our, our people agreed with this uh, this uh, with this contract. All right. All right, but what our people broke the contract. It says what, verse six. Then Yahweh said unto me, all right, which is the men of the Lord. It says, proclaim all these words unto the cities of Ju Judah and to the streets of Jerusalem to all twelve tribes, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, saying, hear ye the words of this covenant, and do them. Okay, so what we're supposed to, our people are supposed to hear the words, especially the words that the prophets are speaking. OK, correcting our people, teaching our people to fear the Lord. OK, you know, tell them to turn back to Yahweh by Shemal Shah. You just had the day of atonement pass. OK, you know, telling our people to repent. They're supposed to do these things. OK, it says, for I earnestly protest unto your fathers. And that word earnestly means with a serious intent. All right. So Yahweh by Shemal Shah through the men of the Lord seriously with a serious intent told our, our people to stop the BS. OK, it says, for I honestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day. So even right now, OK, it says rising early and protesting, saying, obey my voice because of what our people was always going off, always being disobedient. OK, it says, yet they obeyed not. And you see that right now with our people, our people being, you know, drug dealers, um, whores, thoughts. You know, uh, uh, just all types of abominations, man. You know, things that we can't even go to no more because of YouTube. You know, and their uh, band strikes, man. All right, but if you down with the uh, the 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 color boys and stuff, you know, all that stuff, man. Okay, you know, you didn't want to obey the voice of the Lord. It says, it says, 
yet they obey not, nor incline their ear. I mean, they didn't want to hear the words of Yahweh by Shema It says, but walk every one in their in the imagination of their evil heart, meaning that mind. <clears throat> they did whatever saw they fit. Okay, fits for them. Oh, you know how, you know, because these niggas say out here in the world that what? Oh, I'm going to just live my life. I'm going to do me. Okay. That's the same thing that they were saying in the ancient world. Okay. It says, therefore, I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant. What? The curses. <laughs> the, the things that was going to happen to us if we didn't hearken unto them. Okay. Because that there's going to, you know, with every contract, there comes what? What's going to happen if you breach the contract? Okay. And that's what we're suffering right now. It says, which I command them to do, but they did them not. It says, and Yahweh said unto me, a conspiracy is found amongst the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem, all 12 tribes, all right, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says they are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers doing the same wickedness they did in the ancient world, okay? It says, which, which refused to hear my words, even though what the men of the Lord are out there in the streets teaching this word, our people walk by and refuse to hear the words of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. It says, <clears throat> and they went after other gods, Buddha, Allah, Santa Maria, the Hindu goddess Shiva, all these other gods, anything that you put up before Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Okay. It says, to serve them, the house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. Okay, so what? There's going to be a consequence for that. Shows you that what? The masses is not going to be saved, man. All right. The masses of Israel are not going to be saved. It's going to be the elect of the nation of Israel, that remnant. Okay. All right. When you look at that word remnant, it means what? Someone that's left after a mass slaughter. Okay. All right. Let's get this. <clears throat> Verse 11, my favorite. It says, Therefore, thus save you. How about Shemuel Shai? Behold. I will bring evil upon them. Now, evil means bad times. Okay. And there's multiple things that scriptures talk about the evils that's going to come upon this earth. You know, sword, famine, plague, death and destruction, strife, anguish. You know, these are just some of the things that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai says is going to happen unto those that don't want to hearken. Matter of fact, let's get that real fast. Let's see, um, seven, four. Yep, here it is. <clears throat> it says, such thing, uh, this is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Rock 40 and 8. It says, such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and is sevenfold upon more, more upon sinners. And that sinners are what? The Israelites that don't want to get right with Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. Okay? So all these things about the name come upon sevenfold, more upon sinners. So it's going to happen to them even more. Seven pole means a complete amount. Okay, however the Lord, many the Lord uh, 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 sees fit, how much of it? It says, verse 9, death and bloodshed, which bloodshed is death, but through violence. Okay, it says, <clears throat> strife and sword. Now, the sword is any killing instrument. Okay, but now the sword, Lord's sword is Esau, Eden, the so called white man in his military. It says, calamities. Famine, a lack of bread and water. Calamities means evil, bad times. It says tribulation, troubling times, okay, or, or troubling situations. It says, and the scourge, beatings, you know, you getting whipped, being, being tortured, concentration camp, right? It says, these things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. So that wicked is talking about what? For our people, okay, the sinners, <laughs> <laughs> so Yahweh by Shemuel Shai is not playing, okay? Shows you that the masses is not going to be saved, yo. You know, that's why we got to get right with Yahweh by Shemuel Shai to the best of our ability, pleasing the Lord so we can be found worthy to escape the death instruction because two-thirds are about to show you they're not going to be found worthy to escape none of that we just read. Let's read it now. It's, this is um <clears throat> Jeremiah eleven eleven. It says, there, Therefore, thus saith Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, behold, I will bring evil upon them. We just read what was all going to happen upon uh, uh, with that evil, right? Upon them, that them is the two-thirds of the nation of Israel, okay? Majority of our people, 66.6% .6 of the Israelites, okay? It says, which shall not be able to escape, what? 
the death, the the the, the bloodshed, the strife, the ang- all of that, man. All right, they're not gonna be able to escape that. It says, and though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. So they'll be like, oh God, was sent to Maria, I ask me, you know, all that stuff, man. Okay, but the Lord Yahweh is not gonna hear them. It says why? It says then shall they, the cities of Judah and the cities inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods whom they offer incense, but they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. Okay? So Yahweh is going to allow you to what? He's going to, okay, go do your own thing. But guess what? Those guys is not going to save you. I'm not going to save you. <laughs> That's what the Lord is saying. You know? But we know what the elect of the nation is or those that are turning back to Yahweh. The Lord is going to protect them. We'll get that and we'll end off on that, man. Just showing you that what? The, the mass is not going to be saved, okay? It's only the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the book of, um, <clears throat> it's the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 74, okay? And this is talking to the house of David, the elect, that remnant, okay? That small number, not the whole nation, not the masses, but a small number, okay? This is, um, Yep, this is uh, 2 Ezra 16 and 74. It says, Hear ye, O my beloved. Okay, beloved goes back to the word Dawada, the name that which is David, the house of David, the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, hear me, O my, O ye, my beloved. Save Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. So the same things that we just said that was going to happen unto the two-thirds of the nation is for the Lord said, look, I'm going to bring all that. Those troubling times, I'm going to bring those times. Okay? It says, but, so on the contrary with all that, I will deliver you from the same. Okay? Why? Because they're turning back to Yahweh by Shemiah Oshai. All right? They're pleasing the Lord, doing what's pleasing unto Yahweh by Shemiah Oshai, having faith, having that fear. Okay? You know? All right, and that's the side we want to be on. Lord's will we be part of the elect. We don't want to be caught up in the death and destruction that we're about to see real soon. Okay. So hopefully this is edifying to the elect of the nation. Israel, the masses will not be saved, okay? But only the elect. All right. So with that, let's give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh Baha Shimi Aushai, Bahashimu Karkadash. Let to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there throughout the four conserve, pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity until next time to the elect. Say shalom.